All right. No, so it no is getting a little late, but still working on it because we're not being too loud. Got this a little bit. It's a little hard to see. Need to get some better lights in here. Really bad. Got this all smoothed out a little bit. Still need, as you can see, now that I got this where I want it, still need to pull this out and get it back pinched together because, you know, we don't want that all open in there. So I still need to take care of that. But I got this. I got all the bacon out of there, you know. So we got these new dollies down here too. Not ours, but we're just trying them out. But it makes moving the car just insanely easy. So we're going to go pick some of them those up for sure probably four because probably blow the car around in here really well with those so i'm gonna get these holes grinded down just like i did the hatch and then i'm gonna tack weld those grind them back down get them nice and smooth and then um kind of try to pull out everywhere we can and uh goal is to always you know of course use as little filler as possible so we're going to try to get as much of this straight as we can and then the rest we're just going to have to pretty much use makeup for so keep you guys posted and check back in a bit all right so it is the next day i didn't really stay up too late doing much last night but i've been working on it a little bit this morning, started getting these all taken care of. You can see, well, I guess you can't really see, but old holes were in here. And yeah, one here and here. Still had a little bit of uh, grinding down to do, but I'm trying to make sure I don't go too deep and uh, kind of put a dip in the metal where those are right there, because that's just makes it harder to get out and stuff. So. I always like to use a older uh, flap disc, one that's not older, but you know, been used pretty well because it's a lot more finer and you know, it, it does take a little bit more of, you know, work for you, but I feel like it makes it so you're not digging as deep right off the get go. So I'm gonna try and uh, get the rest of this cleaned up and um, see where I need to bring it out some try and bring it out as much as I can. And then uh, probably have to fill, hopefully just a very, very skim coat on spots just to make it nice and clean before paint. So on this, you can see this right here. I wanna take some out of this right here. So you can see how it dips out. So take some of this out right here and it should let this lay back in there. So still got a bunch of stuff to do. But uh, it's coming along for sure. The only one way to get it done is to stay at it. So check back in soon. All right, so we switched locations so we can keep it more warm here, right? And there's not so many cars around to make it- A little bit smaller space, a little bit more like open wide space. So, you know, we could get some stuff laid out. Got room to walk around, not have to worry about bumping into things. Easier to keep heating here. We got a heater over there. We got another heater going over there. You know, anything helps. But car is all primered. What are you? What kind of paint are you using? What kind of paint? Holy <laughs> cow! We already tested out a little bit, but. Nothing too crazy. Black of course, cherry it's probably going to get painted quite a bit of times considering it's a drift car and not a show car. So I'm pretty excited either way. Yep, can definitely get tapped into. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Of the car? I think it's great. You know, <laughs> I'm having real, you know, a lot of fun having it over here in my garage. And uh, this is Brandon's first time taking over my space. Yeah. Really nice. I've done it to him multiple times. So having all my stuff pushed out of the garage and his car in here with nothing else. And it's like, I kind of walk around here and it's like, no, I can't really do much, you know, it's <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just clean up behind him as he pulls stuff out. So yeah, we're getting ready to 
lay the base coat down, huh? Yep, pretty soon. It's almost there. Oh yeah, and we picked up a bunch of metal today too. Gonna be making a tube front end of this thing as well. Shake, 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 huh? Yep. Using this paint gun. Rubber Freight Special. Metal we got? Yeah. Oh, we gotta bring it in, but we picked up, oh. some, picked up some tubing today so we can build a, a front end on this because we just decided to cut it out and, and do that now instead of putting it off until later on down the road. Might as well just get it over with now, so we're gonna start doing that soon. Mm -hmm these next couple days probably start bending up that up and, and welding it in some good fender mounts going yeah so that's gonna be some sick shit some more stuff i found about the car <clears throat> looks like it's got a chase base tucked power steering line <clears throat> and then it's got some more uh chase base stuff that comes with the car <clears throat> so the more we explore with the car the more we find the more goodies it has so yeah. Right out the back. You that. getting that mixed up right or what? Look at that color, dude. Get the Dang. flashlight on it. My pocket. Nice paint right there. Got the gun loaded up. Reloading real quick.
motherfucking scientist right now, huh? <laughs> you on that mad scientist type of shit. Oh, goddamn. Pouring it so carefully. That's good. Look at that. I'm talking, look at that. I can't stop looking at it. I know, I can't wait to paint my car. This makes the project car so much more fun. Just putting in all this fucking hard work into it, yeah. from the sand work. When you do your own work, it just makes everything so much better. Yeah. You know? From the sanding to the spraying. Result to result. To the motor work. Right? We're just out here having fun. I need to spray the other half of the car. And I need to spray the hood. Yeah. Then I need to spray the hood. I need to work my way over to this other side. I'll send you off the rope. So yeah, we don't have to worry about the Holy shit. Right?
but this paint, I don't know if the GoPro, oh yeah, it's picking it up right there. That color is just insane. Oh, you see that? Look at that flake. Oh man. GoPro is picking it up great now. I think he's in our coat. Whole thing. I think we should let this shit get you know dry for a little bit, and then we should. I think you should spray more on it. Oh yeah, because you can see how the sparkles get picked up. Not only this, but this this angle. See how it gets a little light in this quarter. I don't know if that was you or what, but I see. It might just because it's drying. Because this, this is quarter is a little light. Spot, yeah, see I that? Sprayed. The quarter is a little light on paint. Yeah. I'm thinking. See right here. Look at the chunk too. The chunk that is green. Chunk of the Oh yeah. The hood, the hood looks great. Yeah, there's one already rolled. Should go do what? Uh, outside, let this here. Here, that's it's that's stiffy. what we call it these days. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but it's it's getting better. I Dude. feel I feel like each car gets a little better, you know. That's the way it's supposed to be. Progress. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to learn after you know. You eat. I really like it. Yeah, this looks great. I mean, after it's wet sanded really good and then clear coated, it should, it'll look a lot better than this. That's yeah. for sure. This is literally just a base coat. So it's not too bad, I guess. I mean, there's definitely neat spots that need work, but like I said, it's a drift car. It's not perfect. So I like it. I love the color for sure. Yeah, just no drift car. I'm drift gonna, car. Hey, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to owe you a paint job because I'm going to smash into you at least once probably. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, say that again. I said, I'm going to owe him a paint job at one point. Well, I this, know, I know I'm going to hit you at one point. This spot, He's going to fucking ram this, you. <laughs> this spot right here better be on reserve any time I need it to paint. <laughs> <laughs> once we do the once we uh, do the modifications on the old compressor and run that extra big sixty gallon tank, we'll have a, a dual capacity of like yeah, yeah. eighty gallons of air, so that compressor won't be running so much when we're painting. Can build a little outside shed too. We're gonna add on way more framers. They're they're uh, thinking about extending this another ten to twenty feet and pouring another. Side. Not only are we all like three 20. carpenters, not only are we all three carpenters, but we have a lot a, a, a lumber mill right across the, the street. And then we're good to go. A little walk outside. around of bring the car. Camera. Bring the camera. We'll show. The other car and stuff in the metal. Oh, and the wheels, dude. Show the wheels. Oh, the wheels. Oh, you want to show them the wheels? Show the wheels. Oh, he bought it like a microphone, dude. Holy shit. The new wheels for the 40. 10 and a half inch wheels. 18. 18 inch. We still got to pull the plastic dip off two cylinder caps, but other than that, that's what they look like. They need a wash. They need cleaned up, but other than that. They're better than the orange ones, all right? Oh, <laughs> They're a little better. <laughs> oh, no, these are going to look good on it. I mean, they might not be, like, real wheels or anything, but... It's a drift car. It's a, it, it, it is a drift car. And metal until metal I realize that I'm not going to be smashing wheels, <laughs> I'm not buying real wheels for the two boarding. Dude. Look at beefcakes right there. Beefcakes. Beef <laughs> is this thing? We got another roller. 40. We made this thing a roller. Yeah. So, it's so a we got roller roller now. First couple days. What's your car? Let them know. What's up? Yeah. yeah. So this right here is the 240 we drove to Oregon for. I cleaned what it out for the most part. This is the the 240 F O R D Y Ford E. Ford E. Right now she's just stripped. That's how she's gonna stay. She's gonna get cleaned up. But you know, plan on doing a full drift build. You know, cool dash. Lots of sheet metal. Lots of pipe work. Nice cage. Yeah, I got a fuel tank coming right now. I can mock up in the back, build some nice mounts. And uh, yeah, it's a roller now. Need to find a diff and then get some fat wheels at some point. Five lugs, swap it. You like our uh, lug nuts? <laughs> this is this is approved right there. Not only do we have to drill out the other wheels, but... We didn't have enough wheels to roll it out, all right? Yeah. <laughs> and then we had to find lug nuts with another story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is just great. I can't wait, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, all these cars are going to be yeah. fun. Are we going to paint yours next or what? Yeah, definitely. I was even thinking of covering a couple different colors, but I'm not going to announce that <laughs> on camera. Yeah. <laughs> That's not coming out on camera for now. You know? <laughs> Yeah, we picked up some metal of the day. This is what we got. Just at first. Hey, 
my beard's all sticky. 30 feet of it is what we got. Some nice stuff. We're gonna be building a couple uh, tube front ends, maybe some dash stuff, but we're not using this for my roll cage. We're gonna be getting some other stuff for that. Yeah, a lot of fun, you know? We're teaching ourselves how to do all this stuff, all this metal work, welding, everything. We're learning on our own. Yeah. We're learning from our friends, you know? We got people in the right places to know. Great friends. Yeah. Not only do they supply us with stuff like this for great, you know, great opportunities and they're helping us. It's, it's awesome. Getting fucking shit done. They run stuff on the big scale so they can get us stuff like this at wholesale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah.